Welcome everybody back to Boost Emotion, guys. And today I want to talk about different exhaust options for your Q50. Yes, 3.0T and 3.87. So we'll just make this video a very short one. We're going to talk about the theoretics. So guys, let's go jump into the video. First thing, shout out to my whole Boost Emotion family. Much love. I appreciate you guys for the support. All right, definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe button with the bell notification if you're new here. So anyways, guys, so I've been talking about different ways of modifying your Infinity Q50 over the years. Once again, shout out to you guys who always telling me to update these videos. Now, as time has went, we have heard plenty of different options when it comes to catback exhaust. So my first PSA is this. If it's a catback exhaust and it's a 3.7, 3.0T, or I'll even throw, throw in the 3.5 hybrid, they are all interchangeable. Yes, catback exhaust, they're all interchangeable. Now, I did talk briefly about the different downpipes you get for the turbo version. And I haven't really gone so, I think I went in detail in some older version videos of 3.7. So I'll probably update those a little bit on the options of, of uh, test pipes and, or high flow cats. But in this case, we're just talking about the cat back exhaust. So because I don't, there's plenty of videos on different exhaust sounds. Yes, I'm not telling you guys what brand to go to for based on sound. There's enough videos online, on TikTok, on Instagram, on people's ex cat back exhaust setups. I care about how this stuff will perform. Right? Primarily, how would it perform on a 3.7 and or a 3.0T? All right? So, to understand it, guys, the stock VR30 or stock VQ will have CAT, catalyst converters installed. These are just used to filter the exhaust so that it won't kill duckies and it won't kill the ozone. All right? Now, most CAT back exhausts will come standard 2.5 inch. That is from the Y pipe back that goes into a collector and then pretty much goes into a single one connector and goes back down to two resonated pipes that will go back to the uh, axle back or muffler section of the vehicle. Now, this section is always going to be small from the cat back. This is, I believe, 1.7 or 2 inches of diameter. So these pipes are designed so that the car stock could be very quiet and also it doesn't let out much exhaust because wider pipes means louder noises. So it keeps it very restrictive. Now, guys, when you get rid of that cat back exhaust and you put a 2.5 inch, you will gain a, 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 a small, I would say, I hate to say it like this because I'm talking about the VQ versus the VR. On the VQ motor, you may gain a little bit of wheel horsepower. Not that much because it is a V6 and they don't really suffer as much back pressure issues compared to the VR30. But you will gain some power by removing and putting a, putting a proper cat back exhaust. Now, same thing for the 2.5. Uh, a 2.5 applied to the uh, uh, 3.0T or any VR30 exhaust. Now, if you do remove, the, remove this amount of catback exhaust, then you will gain a little bit of your extra power because it allows the turbines to spool up a little faster so you have a bit quicker response. But doesn't mean that you're going to gain the most amount of power because you're still going to be on stock catalytic converters, which check on those videos that I talk about different downpipe options, 2.5, 3-inch, and 3.5-inch. So that's not what I'm going to talk about in this video, right? But you will yield a increase on the top end power because it's less restrictive. But understand, guys, understand, you will get different noises. VQs do definitely sound better than VRs when it comes to cat back exhaust. But going with a 2.5 inch, you want to pair it with something kind of flow restri uh, less flow restricted ca uh, callus converter that I talked about in different videos. Now, when you do that, you will now get the best benefit of the proper exhaust. The VR, the VQ motors are designed with a, I would say the exhaust manifold is designed pretty well. I mean, from factory, it seemed like Nissan over the years designed better and better ex OEM exhaust manifolds that honestly, um, they're pretty good. They're like shorty headers. They're pretty short. You add some test pipes on them and a proper cat back exhaust with some resonators and you're going to have a good sounding exhaust in your VQ, right? Please stay with the, trum the trumpet noises, right? Now, for the VR, once again, you put down pipes, go catless or cat it, whichever you want to do, and the same thing would apply here. But now, when you come from the 2.5 inch to 3 inch, this is when things change up a little bit. Um, for the v uh, VQ motors, you really won't get as much of a, I would say, added performance because you're an NA car, you're a V6. There's only but so much displacement, how efficient the car is, is an air pump. So it can only be as efficient as air in and air out. 
some at some point you'll get to a threshold where there's no more power that would actually add it going with a three point three inch exhaust. Sometimes it's mostly bragging rights on a on a I would say on a, a VQ because it does give a different, unique, deeper sound depending on what the resonators may be um placed and the proper axle back mufflers they may use. But VQ sound great. Shout out to uh, Speed Cultures. He designed his own um. A uh, cat back is all set. Sounds really, really good. So a lot of people actually picked up with some of his exhaust setup, and they follow by it, and they stay true to it. So shout out to them on that. Now, when you go with a 3-inch exhaust for the VR motor now, you're talking about y yielding a bit more additional power. There are some downpipes on it that are 3-inch, full the cat downpipes or full catless, that you can pair with a 3-inch cat back exhaust where you will yield the mo most amount of performance. Yes. And the three inches do sound a little bit deeper, a little bit louder, depending on what the resonators are, and you will yield more performance, more top and power. This applies for both the VR and VQ. Now, there's one exhaust that I'm not stating here that some people actually started using, some people don't. We're talking about single exit exhaust. I know that these cars come from factory kind of true dual or fake dual or whatever um, exhaust. Some people choose to go with the single exit. Now, the single exit will still be let's say the Y pipe will come in and meet in, at a collector, one pipe, right? But from when it co when those Y pipe collect off those two banks into that one, now the car, the exhaust pipe will either go to the left or right side of the vehicle, depending on how you want your welder to do it, right? Now, what is the additional performance going with this? Well, you could go with a three inch, or even I've even some seen some cases, 3.5 inch. This is more of the DOI guys, or they'll take like a 350Z, I would say, a 350Z or 370Z, um, single exit exhaust, and it'll just add some extensions on it. Yes, you can actually add extra pipe, yes, on the single exit exhaust. And a little bit of massaging, but, you know, from a welder or an, on a fabricator, nothing crazy. And they'll add a 3.5-inch exhaust to it. Now, what is the performance gain because of this? Honestly, I think the performance gain may actually be a little bit more for the VR. But let's start with the VQ. Performance gain, well, I don't really know if there's much. As I said, there's a threshold here. You have a 2.5-inch uh, y pipe collected into a three inch, the f it gives allow allows it to have a little bit more I would say uh, surface area, which could slow down the exhaust. But then you're also keeping the exhaust turbulent, so it, it actually forces it out a lot quicker. And it actually makes it sound a little bit better on the VQ because single exits sound really good for some strange reason on the VQ. Now on the VR, now you add it. I think it could yield additional performance. The only reason being is because the turbines are already flowing so fast and the exhaust is moving so fast. Now it doesn't have to go through as much turbulence. Now it's going to straight through right after they collect into that one pipe. It's out shooting out. So it keeps the exhaust um, speed, gases speed really up there. And it does make it sound better too on the, v, on the VR. I really do like how it sounds. Um, is there additional performance? Probably. I'm assuming so, but... I would assume that would probably be the best for upgraded turbo and or like a, a, a Z1 turbo or even a Garrett turbo. It may be probably better on that. Maybe. We don't know. Some people would have to go out there and test it. But understand that the 3.5-inch or 3-inch single exit exhaust has its own unique sound. And out of all the three different exhausts, 2.5-inch to 3-inch stock or even axle backs, whatever Frankenstein exhaust you want, I think the 3-inch sounds the best. It just needs to be done proper with the proper resonators and axle back section. But in my honest opinion, I also think it's the lightest too, depending on what you get because you have a lot less pipe. <laughs> but outside of that, guys, I just want to give you guys my theoretic opinion. You guys can go search YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, or just put, put a simple Google search and just find some exhaust clips. You'll see that there's a lot of some people out there with single that exits. And this may be something that you want to choose that's a different, unique sound that goes more for you. That's honestly how if, if you want to choose to do so. Or you can go with a 3-inch or a 2.5-inch. But I'm going to make it simple and easy. Yeah. For VQ guys, I think they should just call it easy, call it simple. Just do your regular test pipes or high flow cats with a cat back exhaust, 2.5 inch, call it a day. Three inches more for bagging rights, I get it, but keep it 2.5 inch. It's all right. It's a little less smaller, a lot easier to install, call it a day. For my VR people, I think we really want to get, if you want to get the most amount of performance, if you care about that on upper upgraded turbos, then you got to go three inch. But if you're regular VR, regular VR, once again, 2.5 inch with your down pipes, full down pipes and call it a day, alright, and if you want to be hot boy, you get the Tanambi, not the Tanambi, I'm, uh, god damn it, you guys are going to say it on the video I actually forgot the, the our favorite single ex exit noise, because we, we have it on all the Z's, but if you really want that loud noise, that loud muffle, you could do it I, I'm not a hot boy anymore <laughs>
<laughs> I'm not. All right. So, guys, I appreciate your time. Thank you for banging with your boy, Boost. Other than that, catch me next video. I appreciate you.